So in my last video I talked a little bit about how I used to be a poet, um, haven't written anything for a while, but the recent poetry festival in Edmonton here inspired me. So I've dug up one of my old poems, I'm going to read that, uh, do a little bit of a performance piece, and that's that's really it uh, for this, this video. Uh, I'm used to doing this in front of a live audience where I can kind of feed off the energy of the crowd, so forgive me if it's you seems a little bit stale um, but I'm gonna do what I can I'm gonna try to imagine that crowd out there and and so uh, I'll give this piece a try and hopefully it turns out well uh, so this is called obituary for a stranger I wrote this uh, in 2008 about a neighbor she found you after three days it was like one of those stories you hear about the elderly person who dies in their apartment and no one notices for weeks. It's always the smell that notifies the neighbors. But she found you after three days so you can rest easy knowing that you hadn't yet begun to stink. She found you after three days so you can rest easy knowing that someone noticed you were gone. She found you after three days and she wasn't the only one. Your drinking buddy showed up at the building, face full of concern because you hadn't been answering your phone. It worried him because you always looked forward to the Friday night six-pack. And then there was your sister, who said that you were a walking time bomb with arteries hard as rock and a drinking habit that bordered on unhealthy. You were 49 and you went in peace. That was determined even before the doctor said so. You were found lying on the floor in front of the TV with your legs crossed and your hands behind your head. It was the quickest heart attack that I've ever heard of. And all of this makes me oddly upset, despite the fact that I didn't even know your name. I knew your face and your apartment number. You were apartment number 17, and you helped me push my car out of the Snowden parking lot two winters ago. You were my neighbor, and all I knew about you was that you liked classic rock, played loudly, you were probably a tradesman, and Friday nights were for beers with the boys. I found out more about you in the last few days since you died than in the two and a half years of living just down the hall. She found you after three days, and this, despite the fact that I still don't know your name, all of this makes me oddly upset. It might be that old cliche about us city folk not knowing who our neighbors are, but I don't think that's it because your death hasn't inspired me to go knocking on doors looking to borrow a cup of sugar. I think it's something simpler, baser, more to the core of who we are as humans. You died alone. And even though she found you after three days, you were alone when it happened. And three days is still a long time to go unnoticed. 